What is up guys, Pie Muffin here, and we are back with our Tales of the Rays video. So, I did mention I was going to do this once the uh, four-year anniversary had come to a close, which once the Black Clover collab started, that marked the end of the four-year anniversary. I hope everyone enjoyed it, got some good stuff from it. Uh, this is definitely the most generous they've been uh, in terms of like what we've actually gotten. And I wanted to, and like I said, I mentioned I was going to do this. We're going to go over all 31 Mirage Arts that I pulled. Uh, I did make a Twitter thread as I was going. After the first one, because I obviously, I got Chester on day one. Um, but I didn't actually screenshot it because I, was, I, I wasn't originally going to uh, make a video like this. But then afterwards, I was like, it'd be kind of fun to just, you know, screenshot every Mirage Art I pull post it in this Twitter thread, and then come back and make a video on it, which definitely let me know. I mean, I assume no one wants to write all 31 Mirage Arts, but definitely post any new characters you got Mirage Arts for, or what was your highlights uh, from the 31 Mirage Arts. I don't want this to be too long, so we're going to hop in and just kind of talk about what I got. Uh, so here we go. So Chester Mirage Art, um, I don't remember which, because it wasn't until... Uh, it wasn't until day four that I started counting, like, okay, this is dupe one out of four, or this is the first copy. Um, so I don't remember what I'm at with Chester. I'm, I, think, I think I actually pull another Chester in here, maybe, uh, but I think he's at, like, two or three out of four. So both day two and day three, I got QQ's Mirror Jart back to back. I didn't have her on day two, and then on day three, I pulled her again, and, you know, it's like, well, yeah, like, what are the odds of that even happening? That's crazy. But I was definitely fine with, uh, pulling her. You know, definitely adds to my... I'm never going to complain about getting a character's mirror jar that I didn't previously have a mirror jar for. Because that's more characters I can throw into the tower. Um, even if I don't plan to pull for them later. Uh, Stan, I got a dupe for him. So that was dupe one out of four. And then once again, back to... So basically, I got doubles. Two and three. And then four and five. Uh, so Stan was four and five. So, uh, two, dupe two out of four for Stan, uh, right there. So he's getting quite a bit powerful. Day six, I got a dupe for Cocos. No complaints there. I have double mirror darts for him. It was kind of funny on day seven that I got a Loney dupe because I think it was right before the, uh, crossover mirror dart stuff started. It was like a few days before, um, so that did, um, kind of help me there, I guess, uh, which I actually did end up, you're not going to see this in here, but I did end up pulling Malik and Loney's crossover Mirage Arts. So that definitely, ha so now I have three Mirage Arts for Loney, even though he's a character whose game I've never played. Uh, so very funny there. Was very happy about this. I got Rudy's Mirage Art, finally. So uh, I do have double Mirage Arts for her now. Uh, since I did miss out on getting her Decisive Mirage Art during the anniversary, because I pulled two copies of Kohaku's and I pulled one copy of Riala's. So that was fine there. Uh, Rose, dupe two out of four. You know, I'll always take a free dupe to kind of make her more powerful. I'm still, uh, hoping that, you know, characters like her, Dezel, Zavid, uh, maybe get on a decisive mirror jar banner sometime down the line. Maybe when Heldolf finally comes. Although when Heldolf comes, I feel like it's probably going to be Rose, Alicia, and then like Dezel. Um, possibly. Um, because unless they did, or they could do Lenar. If they did like a Lenar raid. Then they could do Rose, Dezel, and then, like, Zavid or something. Um, and then do, like, Alicia, Miklio, and Edna for the other one. Uh, something along. Because Saray already has one, so he's not going to come back uh, with a brand new one. So that works there. Day 10, Sarah Dupe. This was fine because we were. it was right after the Tales of Link celebration stuff. So she got even more powerful. Uh, day 11, Senel Dupe. I'll take it. I still want his overay at some point uh, if I can get that. Day 12, I got Mary's Mirror Jart for the first time. Uh, I haven't played Destiny yet, so uh, I don't know too much about her, but I will definitely uh, accept that uh, for sure. Day 13, Caius is Mirror Jart, which for the mainline Tales games that Mar... And you can see, I mean, I wrote it right here. He was the final uh, character who's normal Mirror Jart, or who I didn't have a Mirror Jart for. So, you know, there are some characters... Um, you know, from some of the spinoffs and stuff. Like, obviously, I don't have a mirror jar for Pasca Kanono. But uh, in terms of the mainline, you know, titles, he was the last one I was missing. So I was very happy to get that. A cell dupe. <laughs> that was three out of four, which uh, <laughs> uh, we all know how that went once she got her uh, 
uh, decisive mirror dart. Uh, very interestingly, uh, I didn't have Rid's uh, mirror dart. So uh, I now have four mirror dart. Uh, three, four, three. Uh, so what I have is regular. I have his seasonal. I have his collab. And then I I have his decisive mirror dart. So the only one I'm missing is his overray. So he has five total. That's crazy to think about. He has five total mirror darts. Uh, day 16, I got Flynn. Can't use it. Uh, so there you go there. Uh, day 17, I got Ion, which I was very happy because I did want Ion when he first came around. But uh, I was never able to do so. Uh, just because I didn't want to summon on a story banner. Was very, very... Uh, <laughs> It's funny to get another Loney dupe, so we definitely take that. He's getting very powerful up there at this point. Uh, we got Fog. I know nothing about Fog, uh, honestly, um, but I'll take a free Mirror Jart uh, to level up in our character. We got my first dupe for Akaria, so definitely take that. Hopefully she gets a traditional seasonal or uh, overray. Some, I feel like she will in this arc since she's going to be playing a major part like all the other OCs. Uh, so she'll probably get something. Or she might get uh, a crossover mirror chart between her and Cocos would be kind of cool. Uh, Suzu Dupe, 2 out of 4. Definitely was happy about that. Raven, another character who was already maxed, so couldn't use his mirror chart. Uh, my first dupe for Keel. Keel's not too powerful. I don't even have a 5-star for him yet, I think. Or I might have his regular one. Um, day 24, we got Little Queen, dupe number 2. Um, I think... I'm trying to remember if I got her first dupe during the anniversary last year, or if I pulled... I think I pulled it somewhere along the line. I think I only got one copy of her, because I remember I pulled her off of a ticket. Because um, I pulled... Who did I pull? I pulled Velvet's Decisive Mirror Jart once. I pulled Vague's once. And then I pulled Little Queen once, I believe. And I never got Asbel's. Uh, day 25, I got my first Mint dupe. Day 26, I got Mel. I know nothing about Mel, but was happy to uh, get her. So uh, now I just, in terms of protagonist, I need Dio now. I need his mirror chart. Day 27, my first sync uh, regular mirror chart dupe. Day 28, once again with Suzu, my third dupe. Day 29, Moses dupe. Uh, day 30 was Mogilu dupe, two out of four. And then the final day was Moses once again, three out of four. So there were like four or five characters that I got a dupe for in these summons, which is crazy because there's like 160 mirror charts that were in this pool. So getting the same character more than once is uh, pretty lucky. Um, Still, unfortunately, the character who's been eluding me the most, Duke, I do not have his mirror chart still, so the hunt still continues. Hopefully he gets a seasonal at some point. I feel like there is a slight chance he could get an overray soon since he is relevant to the story right now. But then also at the same time, you know, there's a lot of characters who have been showing up here and there. We've got Soleil, who's been around since, like, the beginning of Last Arc. We've got Patty, who's been pretty important. Uh, I guess they could do double overrays for Patty and Duke um, if they really wanted to. But we have to see how that story kind of, like, pans out. But uh, that's pretty much it. So definitely let me know down below how your summons went. Uh, overall, I got... So let's actually count before we get out of here. I want to count how many new mirror charts I got. So one. So Mel is one. Um, Fog is two. Ion is three. Uh, well, I mean, I already had him, but I guess I'll count it. Four for uh, Raid. Five for Caius. Six for Mary. Um, seven for Rudy. Uh, and eight for QQ. So at eight out of my 31 mirror jarts that I pulled uh, were actually brand new ones. Uh, so that's pretty, that's not bad considering how many I already had. Um, and of course, you know, the dupes for like Flynn and Raven uh, do get me closer to a select ticket. Um, you know, if you get enough of those, uh, higher prisms, you can get a select ticket and then choose a regular mirror chart, which if Duke is in that pool, I'm just going to select him. Like there's no one else. I think off the top of my head, you know, Duke, Simone, uh, I don't really care if I get Agria somewhere down the line, like cool, but I don't think I would select her. I think Simone and Duke would be the two I'm kind of eyeing right now. 
But uh, let me know what you guys got down below. Let me know your best pulls. For, obviously, you don't have to let me know. I mean, if you want to write everything, uh, definitely go ahead. But uh, I feel like most people don't want to type that much. So uh, definitely let me know what your best pull. Yeah, I guess just t tell me your top three. What were the three mirror charts out of the 31 that you were most excited to get? Whether it's dupes, whether it's brand new ones. Let me know your top three uh, down below if you make it to the end of this video. But that's going to be it, guys. Thank you all for watching. Don't forget to subscribe more if you're new to the channel. I'll see you all next time. Have a wonderful day, everyone.